Just a quick disclaimer before we start this video, upon filming and editing, the state of Massachusetts was still not under any lockdown or shelter in place. So if anything I say goes against anything your local government is telling you, please listen to your local government, don't go outside, don't listen to a rando on the internet, and uh, enjoy the video. I'm about to say two words that are probably gonna make your ears bleed at this point. Social distancing. This basically means you keeping your germy self away from other people's germy selves. And let's face it, the gym is kind of the worst place for this. I mean, people's fluids are getting all over everything and you're just touching all kinds of stuff. Weights, plates, clips, bars, squat racks. It's a festering cesspool of infection. So you're basically left with two options. Option one, do nothing for two months and take a corona deload. Or option two, make this the best thing that's ever happened for your health and fitness. That, that's what this video's about. So here are just a few of the things that I will be doing over the next few months to stay sane as a gym rat who is no longer allowed to go to the gym. The first thing I want to talk about is ritualizing movement, aka taking a long ass walk. Now I know what you're thinking, is taking a long ass walk really gonna make that big of a difference? But think about this, in your daily life pre-corona, you are moving around all the freaking time without even thinking about it. You're going to the store, going to the gym, going to get coffee, and now we're basically all just at home on our computers. Obviously, everybody knows a sedentary lifestyle isn't good for you, but what maybe is a little less obvious is how much less energy we're expending when we're just at home all day lying around. Plus, don't tell me you're not stress eating just a little because of the whole worldwide pandemic situation going on. So the best way to make taking a walk a habit is to pair it with another habit you already have. That's the um, ritualizing part. So for me, every single day when I wake up, that's my first trigger to go on an hour long walk. And that knocks out a ton of steps before my day has even started. Hopefully pairing it with stuff you're already doing every day will A, make it easier to remember and B, just make it more seamlessly fit into your day. Obviously, it's still a hassle and a half in the beginning because, well, I'm lazy, but the more you do it, the more it just becomes part of the way you're living your new at-home lifestyle. The next thing I want to talk about is doing some outdoor cardio. <gasps> yes, I said it. If you are anything like me and you live at the gym, then you probably forget that there is in fact an outdoors and people do occasionally run or like move around in it or something. Getting outside is great for many reasons. First of all, you're getting that vitamin D, which is good to support your healthy immune system. Second of all, it gives you the only chance you have to get out of the house while maintaining social distance and also getting a break from whoever is in your house, I won't mention any names, and it gives you the chance to work on a skill that you've probably neglected if you live at the gym, aka cardiovascular capacity. Now, if long distance running isn't really your thing because it does tend to interfere with maintaining muscle and or building muscle, then a great alternative is outdoor hill sprints. Because sprints are so short and explosive, they actually require a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers, especially in the glutes and hamstrings, so, no complaints from me. Now, when I am programming my outdoor cardio, I'm basically just making sure that it doesn't fall on the same day when I'm doing an at-home resistance training workout because the two can kind of compete with each other in terms of where your body's resources are going. So I've structured my training so that I'm running one day and then I'm lifting one day and then I'm running one day and I'm lifting one day, etc., etc. You get the point. Now, let's move on to the thing that everybody's talking about, at-home workouts. I know you've seen online, everybody and their mother is posting at-home workouts. I'm gonna be honest, I used to think at-home workouts were stupid and a waste of time and way too easy for an experienced gym veteran like myself. But boy, was I wrong because they have been kicking my freaking butt. I'm gonna put a bunch of links to other people's videos that they've already posted on really good at-home workout routines, but basically here are the overall ideas. 
first of all, because we don't have all our fancy toys from the gym, we have to kind of get creative with how we make exercises difficult enough. So what that means is if you're only using your body weight, you probably need to do way more reps than you think you need to do. Like way more reps than you think you have to do. Other things you can do to make body weight exercises harder are do them really, really slowly. So anything in slow motion is gonna be harder than things at regular speed or adding an isometric or a long hold at the hardest part of the exercise. So for example, if you're doing a squat, this means adding a long hold at the very bottom. Finally, you can also make body weight exercises unilateral. That means one legged, one armed. So pistol squats, Bulgarian split squats, one armed push-ups. Notice there's no demo for one-armed push-ups. Of course, you can always go the route of ordering some at-home gym accessories online. So when this whole COVID-19 thing started, I kind of may have panicked and ordered a barbell on Amazon. Was it an overreaction? Maybe. Do I regret it? No. My gym was also kind enough to loan me a set of dumbbells, two bumper plates, and some bands. And just having those things will exponentially increase the amount of exercises you can do in your house. So definitely not a necessity, but something super, super awesome to have. And also not that expensive. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up because it helps other people see the video. And um, like I said, if anything I've said goes against what your local government is telling you to do, please listen to your local government. Don't go outside if they tell you don't go outside. Um, and also I'm gonna put a link to the CDC website down below um, because I know there's a big problem with misinformation during all this insanity. And uh, oh yeah, wash your hands and stay away from other people. I just want the hashtag content. You're trying to steal my content. No, I'm trying to learn because I want abs. Hey guys, welcome back to this video. So today I'm actually gonna be talking to you about what to do now that the gym is closed because there is coronavirus. What you wanna go ahead and do is focus hard enough so that you grow your own muscles. Here, let me demonstrate. Ready? Mm -hmm. Focus, 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 focus. And now I have an Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, shit. I see it. Is that good?